So with the eight and mini, as well as all the remote locations that I live stream or record events or at different churches, I needed something a lot smaller to take with me to help record instead of taking an entire suitcase with my Note 202. So in this video, I'm gonna show you how I solved that issue with the ASRock Desk Mini. Hey folks, AJ the CEO here. If this is your first time stopping by the channel, thanks for stopping by and on this channel we focus on tips, training, strategies, reviews, and bills to help modernize your media ministry. So if you're new here, consider subscribing. Obviously, I'm in love with the A10 Mini on just how compact it is and how I can now have multi-camera control on any event that I go without having to take my entire full A10 television studio um, for you <laughs> box that I normally take. Um, this thing has uh, opened the door to so many other possibilities, but the only problem I have is when I need to have a computer with me to live stream. So I have my Note 202, which is really small, um, but even then I have to actually use a mid-size suitcase to carry that with me because I'm taking a full-size monitor, not even mentioning the cameras, well, the one camera that I would have in that scenario. So now that I have the A10 Mini, I can bring multiple cameras. Don't have to worry about distance. I can run them over SDI, convert them over to HDMI back that connects to the A10, and that's great. But now I needed to shrink the footprint of the computer that I'm taking with me. So I did a previous video where I built with the ASRock A300 Desk Mini for a um, member at my church to replace their system. And I was just thinking, okay, well, the ATEM Mini allows me to live stream without needing a capture card. So if I take all the parts inside of my Note 202 and put them inside the A300 Desk Mini, would I be able to live stream off of that would it be able to sustain the power? Would it overheat? Would it throttle? Would it do anything like that? So that's what I decided to do. So inside the A300, what I have is my original Ryzen 5 2400G, which was in the Note 202. And then I have 16 gigs of memory. I have a 256 gigabyte NVMe drive. And I normally will put a one terabyte drive for local storage, but I didn't have a reason to put that in right now. This is for testing. So this is mainly gonna be, can this thing run and live stream without any issues? Um, and surprisingly, yes, it can. So in the front, we have a USB type C that will connect right there. And then that's how I would connect over to um, the A10 Mini, and I don't want to unplug it right now because that's what I'm using to record this um, in the system that you can see right there. <laughs> um, but it, first off, you can see from size comparison that it's actually double the height of the A10 Mini, but it's about 75% as wide. Um, so this is really tiny. Now, I'm actually going to be pairing this with another monitor later on. It's a portable monitor. Um, we'll be coming back with another review of that later, um, maybe about next week or something like that. But the idea is I want to be able to fit everything that I use for a lashing event inside of a backpack. And I think with this, this will work. Um, so, I mean, I already talked about the specs. I probably have some B-roll that y'all are seeing right now. But what I want to do now is actually test how it's going to handle live streaming. So let's go ahead and cut over to the video from that I did yesterday. All right, so here is, I pretty much was just live streaming some gaming from my PlayStation 4 of me playing Dragon Ball Z Kakarot. And this was me live streaming to Vimeo. So I will leave a link to this in the description so you can actually watch it. Um, it's just 20, about 22 minutes of me playing and there was no issues at all with the stream. Now, I actually include some footage as well of what the system was specking out for. Um, it really wasn't any, um, 
didn't go over about like 15% utilization. Um, so that's really good. And based off of what I normally would be using the system for, I mean, this is great because I had so much overhead still left to go. So I wasn't topping out the system. What I normally do is I have OBS set to use the graphics card of the chip to handle the encoding. And again, this is the type, same type of system that when I'm doing sporting events, I actually have another application that puts the score up that's running at the exact same time while this is running. But at the same time, I've used the Note, Note 202 at my church and at other churches to actually run Worship Extreme, um, Easy Worship, Pro Presenter, whatever, at the same time. And I'm using that to also um, superimpose graphics or scripture or anything like that on the stream as well. But seeing how that I'm actually have the A10 Mini here, what I've actually done, the Desk Mini has three outputs, video outputs, so VGA, HDMI, and DisplayPort. So what I actually have is the DisplayPort is going to my monitor to my left, and then I have the HDMI is routed right back into the A10 Mini as a secondary display. So I don't need to do this through OBS, I can actually just control everything here through the ATEM. So that's if I wanted to bring up the screen so that everybody could see that, that would be number four. And then now this is the desk mini. And this is how I had everything set up. Um, I was getting around like 15%. And at this point, it was actually recording now. So I think I recorded the wrong part. But I wasn't using more than around like 20% when I was actually streaming this. So again, you can go to the link and look at it. I think this is gonna be ideal for the setup. I have a link in the description of everything that I used in here. And again, I already know it works because this is exactly the same components that I had in my Node 202 that I've been using to live stream for at least two years without any problem. So the only thing is we just wanna make sure it wasn't overheating or anything like that, thermal throttling or stuff like that, which it wasn't. Now, the one thing I will mention is that a bunch of people have said that you could use, if I can get this out of the way here, you could use the original stock fan that comes with the 2200G, 3200G, 2400G, 3400G. Um, they said you can actually use this, but you can actually take the lid off of this and it will fit. That is incorrect. Yes, it will work, but you actually have to bend the top of the, eight, um, of the desk mini, which I didn't want to do. So I'm using the stock cooler that came with the desk mini, which is really not ideal. It's keeping it at good temperatures. What I'm actually gonna use instead of this that is already on order that I'm gonna replace with this as soon as it come in is the Noctua NH-L9A, which is a very small, low profile um, CPU cooler that doesn't even come close to the top of this and actually performs better than the stock. So that's what I'm gonna be getting and replacing with this soon. But outside of that, I don't know if you can hear it, The fan is, has a whining sound. The Noctua is pretty much silent in comparison. Um, so I'm looking forward to that coming in. So now that this has been tested out, what I'm gonna do is officially move everything into the system, um, my NVMe and everything like that with the secondary drive that I use. I use a one terabyte for local storage when I need to record. So anyway, I hope y'all like this. I will be doing some more details on this. I mean, I've already talked about the innards, how to put the whole desk mini together. It was mainly from a performance standpoint and it rocks. So if you want to see any of that stuff, I really don't stream that much, but if you do, I will link my gaming channel, which I've been using since the beginning of the year. I've been using the A10 mini to stream and it's going to be also the desk mini from now on. It's going to be handling that. So if you, I will have a link in the description to all the products that I'm using right now for streaming and in this entire setup. 
and that's about it if there's anything else that you would like me to test out and try out with the a10 mini please leave them in the comments i read all the comments and i am trying to get to each one that y'all have requested and i think the next one i'm going to be working with is how to get the stream deck to work with the a10 mini which should be pretty straightforward so anyway if you like this type of content i appreciate a like consider subscribing and hit that bell that way you get notified when we come out with other videos to help modernize your media ministry this is aj we will see you on the next video later